we can get them to the help they need, we reduce their odds of getting further harm tremendously. Police Chief Richard Smith is acknowledging the success of the lethality assessment program over the past decade. In partnership with domestic violence shelters, Rose Brooks and Synergy Services, officers are trained to assess the danger of victims at domestic violence calls. It starts with a list of direct questions. Has your partner ever choked or strangled you? Last year for Rosebrook Center, 76 percent or 1,993 individuals answered yes to that question. There are 11 questions, but yes answers to the first few give officers a strong indication of a potentially deadly situation. That's when the officer calls a domestic violence advocate and puts the victim on the phone. That is the best time to get them to talk is when they're upset. It's when it happens. It's not later when they get to thinking about, I don't want to make my abuser mad at me. In 10 years, KCPD officers have screened nearly 30,000 victims at the scene. 73 percent were in high danger. Half of them took the help being offered. They know they're standing with someone who can protect them. And if they want them to transport them to shelter, they will. So it just creates a whole different level of safety. Kansas City was the first major police force to adopt the LAP program. Now it's being implemented across the country. This is the place where we can intervene and prevent further violence. I, I think that's the story here.